So it'll be Magic and the Lakers, Michael and the Bulls. It is a marquee get-together. Michael against Magic. This is my first time for the finals. Hopefully we can win, but it's going to be challenging. Here's Jordan. Over Scott. The look away to Levingston. Jordan. The tongue is out. Something bad about to happen to the Lakers. Let me change up and entertain a little bit right now. Woo! Down to two minutes left in overtime. The spin by Jordan and hits on the reverse. Chicago Bulls have returned the favor, beating the Lakers at the four. Jordan. Yes, it counts. It's too late under the basket with Jordan attacking the way he does. Coming up on two minutes. Remaining in this first quarter, Jordan off the steal. Final seconds, Magic's three-point attempt blocked. Pippen comes away with it. And the Chicago Bulls have won their first ever NBA championship. And Michael Jordan has answered a couple of questions. There have been doubters over the years whether a team led by Jordan could win a championship. Anyone who ever questioned whether Michael Jordan was willing to give up and sacrifice for a championship was completely wrong. Portland and Chicago. They were the favorites in November, and now they meet in June. For the Bulls, back-to-back -back titles would certify their greatness and earn them a place in the NBA's pantheon of all-time best teams. The Bulls only two of 11 from the field. Jordan again from three-point land. Shot clock, the five. Here's Pippen setting up Jordan, wide open for another three. Blazers get back, Pippen back for Jordan again for three. Jordan for three. That's his fourth three-point field goal. Jordan for three. Yes! That is an NBA Finals record. Five three-pointers in a half. The steal by Pippen. And Jordan. 32 for Jordan. Here's Jordan. And just let us know that, hey, I'm feeling it, I'm feeling good. It's my game. I love it. I love it. There's Kashi for three. Pass it with the rebound. Tied running down. The Chicago Bulls have won the NBA championship for the second straight season. Welcome to the NBA Finals. In the case of the Chicago Bulls, it's welcome back for the third year in a row. They seek, as you know, to become only the third team to win three NBA championships in succession. Chambers blocked from behind by Jordan. Bulls have hit six of the last oh, pass. Jordan for Grant. Michael with eyes all over the place, sees the entire floor. Sooner. You know he's going to take off from there, elevate, and keep flying to the front of the rim. There is a seven-second disparity between the shot clock and the game clock. Jordan, yes, and it counts! It would have been better for Charles to foul him all the way than halfway foul. And Michael Jordan with 55 points has tied Rick Barry for the second highest total in an NBA Finals game. Pitches back to Frank Johnson. Rebounded by Michael Jordan. Now Frank Johnson, not the man that the Suns would have wanted to take that shot, and, and Jordan was able to go the distance. They want Michael to get a full head of steam, try to keep him in the middle of the floor. Well, Pippen got the snap. Here's Patrick for three. Yes, the Bulls take a one-point lead, and Phoenix calls for time.
on the verge not just of a championship but of the completion of one of the golden seasons in the history of American team sports. Well, they haven't been able to capitalize on that and Gary Payton has struggled offensively. Oh, Jordan with a high Arthur jump shot. Jordan. Yes. Inside, outside, everywhere. He is really feeling it right now like nobody can cover him. Off the mark, badly missed. Rebound Robbins, freaking out Jordan. Goes to the hole, Tampa on his backside. Jordan climbs into the air and tams it down with the right hand. Rebounded by Rodman. Short oh. behind the back to beat Winkowski. <laughs> that goes right at Wingate. What a move by Michael Jordan. Able in midair to collect himself, go behind his back. A spectacular Michael Jordan play. Jordan, Seven-year-old Jeffrey Jordan holding up the Happy Father's Day dad sign. And in the final second, the Chicago Bulls have won. An emotional moment for Michael Jordan. I would think there is a tie-in with his late dad on this Father's Day. I can't even put it in words. On Father's Day, but it means to me. I know he's watching. To my wife, and to my, my kids, and to my mother, my brothers and sisters. This is my daddy. I'm very happy for him. The motivation that I had is that we've been to the final four times in the full state. This is the fifth time we're going to make it five out of five. We're down to five. Jordan, three moves on Russell. We're down to two. Down to one. Here's Jordan. Yes! It is all over. The Chicago Bulls have won at the buzzer in game one of the first of seven on the jump shot by Michael Jordan. At 3.30 this morning, Michael Jordan woke up with flu-like symptoms. I talked to him, I said, how do you feel? He said, I really feel horrible. But his history in games where he's either been hurt or sick has been bad news for the opponent. And the steal by Jordan. Right behind the back on Russell. He turned it around and fed it to Pippen. And it's home by Jordan. What a play by Michael Jordan. Getting out and flying. Jordan fires for Pippen. Yes. And he's tied the game. And you can see how exhausted Michael Jordan is. He won't even take the Gatorade. He doesn't want to waste any energy. No high fives, no lifting water to his mouth. He is exhausted. Pippen, backing on a sack. Here's Jordan. Yes! Michael Jordan from straight away. A courageous, classic performance by the flu-ridden Michael Jordan. A performance that I think will go down as one of the greatest of his career because of the situation. It is Michael Jordan time. Checks the clock. Five on the 24. Here's Jordan. Did not have the shot. It was a last dance, said Coach Jackson. A farewell tour for the dynasty. Jordan. One to sec up on him. With the left hand, he leans into the lane and tosses it home. Jordan to the hole. Wrapped up by Oscar Tag and somehow, some way, he scores. Who coach for Michael against Russell? Up and under. Two to end the half as only he can. Michael working on Russell. Brings them to within one. Malone is doubled. They swat at it and steal it. Second from game seven or from championship number six. Jordan open. Chicago with the lead. Michael Jordan running on fumes with 45 points. That may have been the last shot Michael Jordan will ever take in the NBA. The Chicago Bulls have won their sixth NBA championship, and it's their second three-peat. He no longer needs accomplishments to prove his case as the greatest player in NBA history. And if this is the final chapter, what a way to close the book. 
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.